hello everyone welcome back to mass explorer in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of this interesting and amazing simplification math problem that is square root of 4 raised to power 3 raised to power 2 whole raised to the power square root of 3 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 now how can we solve square root math problem like this you will never see math problem like this so how can we deal this problem to solve this math problem here first of all we will try to solve this power and change this power to a single number and then we will try to solve this base this square root number so let's come and learn how we can solve this power so we will solve this power here now our power is square root of 3 raised to power 2 whole raised to power 1 here first we will find the value of 2 raised to power 1 which is simply 2 so this will become square root of 3 raised to power 2 now here in this number we will use a result now this result is we know that we can write square root of any number a in this form as a raised to power 1 over 2 or half so this is exponential form of a radical number so the same changes we will do here and we will change this square root to its equivalent value so this will become 3 raised to power 2 or less to power 1 by 2 and then we will use an exponential math property and we will multiply the powers with each other so this will become 3 raised to power 2 times 1 by 2 so then we will cancel this 2 and this 2 so this will become 3 raised to power 1 which is simply 3 so here the value of this square root number is only 3 so here we will replace this whole power square root of 3 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 with only 3 so this will become implies square root of 4 raised to power 3 raised to the power 2 whole raised to the power now we will replace this power with 3 now what we will do here here we will try to find the value of this square root number inside the parentheses so let's try to simplify this square root number so here we will try to find out the value of 3 raised to power 2 that what is the value of 3 raised to power 2 3 raised to power 2 means we need to multiply 3 2 times so 3 times 3 is 9 so therefore the value of 3 raised to power 2 is 9 so we will reflect this with 9 so this will become square root of 4 raised to power 9 whole raised to the power 3 now what we will do in the next step in the next step we will try to change this power to its exponential form we can write for s to square so this will become implies square root of we can write for s to square whole raised to the power 9 raised to the power 3 now here inside this square root number we will use an exponential math property a raised to the power m whole raised to the power n so here we will use this exponential math property we can write a raised to power m whole raised to power n as a raised to power m times n now using this exponential math property here this equation will become here we multiply the powers with each other so this will become equal to square root of 2 raised to power and here we multiply the power so this will become 2 times 9 whole raised to the power 3 now what is the value of 2, is 2 times 9 the value of 2 times 9 is 18 so this will become 18 so this whole equation will become square root of 2 raised to the power 18 whole raised to the power 3 now what we will do here in this step in this step we will change this square root to its equivalent value 1 over 2 or half as we do here in this step so this will become this will become 2 raised to the power 18 now square root is equivalent as 1 over 2 whole raised to the power 3 so this will become 3 now here you will use this one exponential math property and you multiply these two powers 18 with 1 over 2 so this will become is equal to 
2 raised to power 18 times 1 by 2 whole raised to the power 3. So let's simplify these two powers. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 9 is 18, and 9 times 1 is 9. So this will become 2 raised to power 9. So this will become 2 raised to power 9, whole raised to power 3. Now here in this step we will try to find out w of 2 raised to power 9 and then we will take the cube of that number. So here the value of 2 raised to power 9 is we can write 2 raised to power 9 is the product of 2 9 times. This will become 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128, 128 times 2 is 256, 256 times 2 is 512, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this will become 512. So the value of 2 raised to power 9 is 512. So we will replace 2 raised to power 9 with this value 512. So this will become implies it will become the value of 2 raised to power 9 is 512 to power 3. Now here we can take cube on this number. We can write this number as the sum of 512 and then we will use the cubic formula. But here I will try to find this value using another method. So we can write this as 512 times 512 whole to power 2. Here the power is 1 and here the power is 2. So multiplying these two numbers here, the bases are same, so we we'll add the power. So this will give him 512 whole cube. Now what we'll do here? Here we will try to find the value of 512 whole square. So therefore we can write this number as implies this first number will be the same 512 times and we can write this number 512 as the sum of 500 plus 12 whole square. Now here inside this number we will use an algebraic identity a plus b whole square identity. So here we will use this one identity and we will find its value a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b. Now using this algebraic identity here this is a and this is b. So this equation will become here this first value will be the same 512 will be the same and this will become a square so a is 500 so this will become 500 square plus b square b is 12 so this will become 12 square plus 2 times a b so a is 500 times b is 12 here we will simplify these number and then we will multiply the result with 512 so this will become 512 times what is the value of 500 square 5 square is 25 and these two zeros will become double so there will be four zeros so this will become 250,000 now 12 square is 144 plus we have 2 times 500 is 1000 and 1000 times 12 is 12,000 so this will become 12,000 now let us add these three numbers so this will become implies this will become 512 times now to add these numbers we will start from the ones position so 0 plus 4 plus 0 is 4 0 plus 4 plus 0 is again 4 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1 comma 2 plus 0 is 2 1 plus 5 is 6 and 2 so here the addition of these three numbers gives him 262,144 now here we multiply this number with 512. Now how can we multiply these two numbers? There are three possible methods. Ways. The first one is to use a calculator and multiply these two numbers. The second is the standard multiplication that we do in the order of work. And the third method is to directly multiply these two numbers without using a calculator and without standard multiplication. So let, let's learn the third method. In the third method here we will change this number to the sum of three numbers. So we can write 512 as the sum of 500 plus 10 plus 2 times this number 
144. Now here first we multiply this number with 500. So let's multiply this number with 500. So this will become implies. Now here this number times 0 is 0. This number times 0 is 0. And this number times 5 is. Here you multiply 5 with this number. So 5 times 4 is 20. So 0, 2 will be carried. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 plus 2 is 22. So 2, 2 will be carried. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. So this will become 7. No, 5 times 2 is 10. So this will become 0. Again, 1 will be carried. 5 times 6 is 30. 33 plus 1 is 31. So 1, 3 will be carried. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 13. So this will become 131,072,000 plus. Now let's multiply this number with 10. So this will become here. This number times 0 is 0. And this number times 1 is this one number. So we will write all of these digits here. So this will become 4, 4, 1, 2, 6, 2. So this gives him 2,621,440. Plus, then let's multiply this number with 2. So this is very simple. 2 times 4 is 8. So this will become 8. Again, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. Comma. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 6 is 12. So 2 1 will be carried. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So this gives him 524,288. Now finally we have these three numbers. So we have to add these three numbers. So let us add these three numbers. So to add these three numbers we will start from the ones position. So let's start from the ones position here. 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 0 is 8. So this will become 8. Now again 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 0 is 12. So this will become 2. One will be carried to the next digit. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 0 is 7, comma, no, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 2 is again 7, no, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 7 is 11, so 1, 1 will be carried to the next digit, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 0 is 12, so 2, 1 will be carried to the next digit, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, and here only two digits are left data 1 and 3. So finally, 133,217,728 is our answer and value of this interesting and amazing math problem. Now, and last, if you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for such a more interesting, amazing and step-by-step -step math videos. Thanks for watching.